In our modern world, we are surrounded by straight lines and rigid structures. Our cities, with their grid patterns and rectangular buildings, reflect our obsession with order and predictability. We have created a world of boxes, both literal and metaphorical, in which we live, work, and think. These boxes provide a sense of security, a semblance of control in an unpredictable world. Yet, they also confine us, limit our perspectives, and disconnect us from the true nature of life. Consider the example of jogging, a popular exercise today. When we observe joggers, we notice a certain mechanical rigidity in their movements. They run in straight lines, often on paved paths or treadmills, believing this to be the most efficient way to exercise. There is a grim determination in their faces, a focus on reaching a destination or achieving a goal. But what if this very approach misses the point of the exercise? Life is not a straight line. It is a meandering journey, full of twists and turns, eeps and downs. The straight line revered in Euclidean geometry is not the natural path of life. Our Earth, our very existence, is not flat, not a static plane, but a dynamic, wiggly phenomenon. Nature abhors straight lines. From the curves of a river to the spirals of a seashell, life itself is a dance of wiggles and waves. When we impose straight lines upon our world, we are not aligning with its true nature, we are forcing it into an unnatural state, one that reflects our limited, simplistic understanding. Imagine a walk in a forest. The path is not straight, but winding, following the natural contours of the land. Trees grow in all directions, their branches reaching out in graceful curves. The leaves rustle in the breeze, creating a symphony of sound and movement. There is a sense of harmony, of being part of something much larger, much more complex than ourselves. This is the essence of wiggliness. It is the natural state of being, the effortless flow of life. It is the unpredictability that makes life interesting, the curves and bends that add beauty and charm. Wiggliness is the dance of existence, the dynamic interplay of forces and energies that create the world we experience. Consider the allure of the natural world, the winding paths, the undulating hills, the intricate patterns of leaves and flowers all embody the principle of wiggliness. This is the essence of vitality, the unpredictable dance of life. It is in the curves and the wiggles that we find beauty, charm, and fascination. This is why we are drawn to the curvaceousness of a person, the meandering flow of a river, the unpredictable movement of a snake. Straight lines, on the other hand, signify control, rigidity, and predictability. They are the hallmarks of human imposition, not of nature. When we try to impose such order on our lives, we resist the natural flow, and in doing so, we resist life itself. This resistance manifests as stress, dissatisfaction, and a sense of being out of sync with the world around us. The beauty of wiggliness is not just aesthetic, it is also deeply functional. In nature, curves and waves are the most efficient and resilient forms. Rivers meander to distribute their energy evenly, preventing erosion and flooding. Trees bend in the wind to avoid breaking. Our own bodies are full of curves and spirals, from the double helix of our DNA to the undulating patterns of our brain waves. Wiggliness is life's way of balancing stability and flexibility, order and chaos. Our universe is fundamentally a system of wave vibrations. Everything we see, touch and experience is part of this fluid, dynamic dance. When we rigidly adhere to straight lines and fixed points, we separate ourselves from this flow. We become like rigid statues in a river, constantly resisting the current. Life is not about finding solid ground, but about learning to swim, 
to flow with the ever-changing currents of existence. This is true in all aspects of life, from our daily routines to our deepest beliefs. The art of living is not about imposing order, but about embracing fluidity. In our pursuit of certainty and control, we often forget that the very essence of life is change. Everything is in a state of constant flux. The cells in our bodies, the thoughts in our minds, the seasons, the weather, nothing remains the same. This fluidity is not something to be feared or resisted. It is the source of all creativity and growth. When we embrace the fluid nature of existence, we open ourselves to new possibilities. We become more adaptable, more resilient. We learn to navigate the waves of life with grace and ease. This does not mean that we abandon all structure or discipline, but that we recognize the limits of our control and the value of flexibility. We learn to dance with life rather than fight against it. Flow is a state of being in which we are fully immersed in the present moment, completely engaged in what we are doing. It is a state of effortless action where time seems to disappear and we feel a deep sense of joy and fulfillment. Flow is the natural state of life, the way we are meant to experience the world. To achieve flow, we must let go of our rigid perspectives and embrace the fluid, wiggly nature of existence. This requires a shift in mindset, a willingness to see the world in a new way. It means letting go of our need for control and certainty and trusting in the natural flow of life. Flow is not something that can be forced or controlled. It is a state of surrender, of letting go and allowing life to unfold. It is about being fully present, fully engaged, and fully open to the experience of the moment. When we are in flow, we are in harmony with the natural rhythms of life, and we experience a deep sense of joy and fulfillment. Being present is the key to embracing the wiggly nature of life. It means being fully engaged with the moment, without clinging to the past or worrying about the future. It means opening ourselves to the full experience of life in all its beauty and complexity. Presence allows us to see the world as it truly is a dynamic, ever-changing dance of forces and energies. It allows us to move with the natural flow, to adapt to the shifting currents, and to find harmony within the wiggly nature of existence. Presence is not about escaping the challenges of life, but about engaging with them in a dynamic and flexible way. It is about finding the flow within the chaos, the harmony within the discord. It is about recognizing that life is a wiggly process, and that our true nature is to move with it, not against it. Fluidity is freedom. It is the ability to move with the natural flow of life without being confined by rigid structures or fixed perspectives. It is the freedom to adapt, to change, and to grow. When we embrace fluidity, we find a deeper sense of liberation and fulfillment. This freedom is not about escaping the challenges of life, but about engaging with them in a dynamic and flexible way. It is about finding the flow within the chaos, the harmony within the discord. It is about recognizing that life is a wiggly process and that our true nature is to move with it, not against it. The essence of life is not found in rigid structures or fixed perspectives, but in the fluid, dynamic dance of existence. When we embrace this wiggly nature, we find a deeper sense of harmony and fulfillment. We learn to flow with life, to adapt to its currents, and to find beauty in its unpredictability. Life is a dance, a dynamic interplay of forces and energies. It is a wiggly, fluid process that defies rigid definitions and fixed boundaries. To truly live is to participate in this dance, to move with the natural rhythms of existence. This dance requires a certain grace and fluidity, 
It requires us to be flexible, adaptable, and open to change. It requires us to let go of our rigid perspectives and to embrace the wiggly nature of life. When we do this, we find a deeper sense of harmony and fulfillment. The dance of life is not about achieving a fixed goal or reaching a final destination. It is about the journey, the process, the experience. It is about being fully present, fully engaged, and fully alive. When we dance with life, we find joy and fulfillment in the moment, and we discover the true nature of existence. In the realm of human experience, there lies a powerful, often overlooked force, vulnerability. To understand the truth about life, we must dive deep into the heart of our emotional existence, exploring the transformative potential of embracing vulnerability and expressing our emotions. This journey is not about weakness, it is about the profound strength found in openness, honesty, and the courage to be authentic. In many cultures, vulnerability is often perceived as a weakness. From a young age, we are taught to hide our true feelings, to put on a brave face, and to maintain a facade of strength and composure. This conditioning leads us to believe that vulnerability exposes us to harm, that it makes us susceptible to pain and suffering. However, this belief is a profound misunderstanding of what vulnerability truly is. Understanding the fluid nature of the universe is essential to discovering the truth about life. Everything around us, from the smallest particle to the vast cosmos, is in a constant state of flux. This fluidity, this dynamic flow, is the essence of existence. To truly comprehend life, we must embrace this reality and learn to navigate the ever-changing currents of the universe. One of the greatest illusions we hold is the notion of solidity. We tend to perceive the world as a collection of solid, unchanging objects. We build our lives around this perception, seeking stability and permanence in our relationships, careers, and possessions. However, this is a profound misunderstanding of the true nature of reality. In reality, nothing is truly solid. At the atomic and subatomic levels, everything is in constant motion. The chair you sit on, the ground beneath your feet, even your own body, are all made up of particles that are continually moving and interacting. This constant motion creates the illusion of solidity, but it is just that an illusion. The universe is a dance of energies, a vast, interconnected web of dynamic processes. From the swirling galaxies to the tiniest quarks, everything is in a state of perpetual movement. This dance is not chaotic but follows intricate patterns and rhythms. It is a symphony of creation, destruction, and transformation. To understand this dance, we must look at the fundamental forces that drive the universe. Gravity, electromagnetism, and the nuclear forces are all manifestations of this dynamic interplay. These forces create the structures we observe from stars and planets to molecules and cells. They also govern the interactions that sustain life, from the binding of atoms to the flow of energy through ecosystems. Every moment, every experience is unique and fleeting. To live fully, we must embrace this impermanence and learn to flow with the currents of change. This requires a shift in perspective, from seeking stability to finding balance within the flux. Embracing change means letting go of our attachment to the past and our fear of the future. It means being fully present in the moment, open to whatever arises. This openness allows us to respond to life with creativity and adaptability rather than clinging to fixed patterns and routines. In nature, the most resilient and successful organisms are those that are flexible and adaptable. Trees that bend with the wind are less likely to break during a storm. 
Animals that can adjust their behavior to changing conditions are more likely to survive and thrive. This principle of flexibility applies to us as well. When we cultivate flexibility in our thoughts and actions, we become more resilient to life's challenges. We learn to navigate the oops and downs with grace and ease. This flexibility is not about being passive or weak. It is about being responsive and resourceful. It is about finding strength in our ability to adapt and evolve. Flow is a state of being in which we are fully immersed in the present moment, completely absorbed in what we are doing. It is a state of effortless action and heightened awareness. When we are in flow, we are in harmony with the fluid nature of the universe. Achieving flow requires us to let go of our need for control and surrender to the natural rhythms of life. It means trusting in our abilities and intuition and allowing ourselves to be guided by the currents of our experience. In this state, we tap into a deeper well of creativity and insight and our actions become spontaneous and authentic. Presence is the key to embracing the fluid nature of the universe. When we are present, we are fully aware of the here and now. We are not distracted by thoughts of the past or worries about the future. We are grounded in the reality of the moment, open to its possibilities and responsive to its demands. Cultivating presence involves practices such as mindfulness and meditation. These practices help us develop a deeper awareness of our thoughts, emotions, and sensations. They allow us to observe the flow of our experience without getting caught up in it. This awareness creates a space of clarity and calm within us, from which we can navigate the currents of life with ease. Understanding the fluid nature of the universe also involves recognizing the interconnectedness of all things. Everything in the cosmos is interrelated, part of a vast web of existence. Our actions, thoughts, and emotions have ripple effects that extend far beyond ourselves. This interconnectedness means that we are never truly isolated. We are part of a larger whole, woven into the fabric of the universe. This perspective can inspire a sense of belonging and purpose. It reminds us that our lives are meaningful and impactful, that we are co-creators in the ongoing dance of creation. To live in harmony with the fluid nature of the universe, we must align ourselves with its rhythms and patterns. This involves cultivating a sense of attunement and responsiveness. It means listening deeply to the currents of our experience and responding with wisdom and compassion. Living in harmony with the flow also means embracing the cycles of life. Just as the seasons change, our lives go through cycles of growth, decay and renewal. When we honor these cycles, we find a deeper sense of balance and peace. We learn to appreciate the beauty of each phase and to trust in the process of transformation. Impermanence is often seen as a source of suffering, but it is also a profound gift. It is the essence of life itself, the force that drives change and growth. Without impermanence, there would be no evolution, no creativity, no possibility for new beginnings. When we embrace impermanence, we open ourselves to the full richness of life. We learn to appreciate the fleeting moments, to savor the beauty of each experience. We become more resilient, knowing that difficult times will pass and that new opportunities will arise. This acceptance of impermanence allows us to live with greater joy and freedom. Letting go is an essential practice for embracing the fluid nature of the universe. It means releasing our attachment to outcomes, to fixed identities, to material possessions. It means trusting in the natural flow of life and surrendering to its wisdom. Letting go does not mean giving up or being passive. It means engaging with life fully, but without clinging. It means being open to change and willing to adapt. 
This practice allows us to move through life with grace and ease, finding harmony in the midst of uncertainty. Trust is the foundation of living in harmony with the fluid nature of the universe. It is the belief that the universe is fundamentally benevolent, that life is a supportive and nurturing process. This trust allows us to relax into the flow of our experience, to navigate its currents with confidence and ease. Trusting in the flow means recognizing that we are part of a larger intelligence, a cosmic dance that is always unfolding. It means trusting in our own inner wisdom and intuition, knowing that we are capable of responding to whatever arises. This trust creates a sense of inner peace and resilience, allowing us to move through life with a sense of ease and grace. Uncertainty is an inherent part of the fluid nature of the universe. It is the fertile ground from which all possibilities arise. Embracing uncertainty means being open to the unknown, to the mystery of existence. It means finding comfort in not knowing and seeing it as an opportunity for growth and discovery. When we embrace uncertainty, we become more flexible and adaptable. We learn to navigate life's challenges with creativity and resourcefulness. We become more resilient, knowing that we can handle whatever comes our way. This openness to uncertainty allows us to live more fully and authentically, to embrace the full spectrum of our human experience. Understanding the fluid nature of the universe is essential to discovering the truth about life. It requires us to let go of our attachment to solidity and permanence and to embrace the dynamic flow of existence. It involves cultivating flexibility, presence and trust and recognizing the interconnectedness of all things. When we live in harmony with the flow of the universe, we find a deeper sense of balance and peace. We learn to navigate life's currents with grace and ease and to appreciate the beauty of each moment. This understanding allows us to live more fully and authentically, to embrace the full richness of our human experience. Faith is often misunderstood. Many people associate it with rigid beliefs or blind adherence to doctrines. But true faith is not about clinging to fixed ideas or seeking solid ground. True faith is about learning to swim in the fluid universe, trusting the currents of life, and embracing the unknown with courage and openness. We crave certainty, stability, and security. This desire is natural, but it is based on a fundamental misunderstanding of the nature of reality. The universe is not solid, it is fluid, dynamic, and ever-changing. Seeking solidity in a fluid universe is like trying to stand on water. We build walls around ourselves, hoping to keep the chaos of life at bay. We cling to our ideas, our possessions, our identities, hoping they will provide us with the stability we seek. But these attempts are futile. They only lead to frustration, anxiety, and a sense of disconnection from the flow of life. When we embark on the journey of life, we begin with a state of pure, unadulterated wonder. As infants, everything is new to us. Our senses are fresh, unspoiled by the labels and preconceptions that come with maturity. This state of perpetual surprise and curiosity is, in many ways, a higher form of wisdom, a wisdom that we often lose as we grow older. Let us explore this concept deeply and understand how adopting a child's vision of life can transform our perception and experience of the world. Think back to when you were a child, perhaps around the age of two. Your experience of the world was radically different from what it is now. Each day was filled with new discoveries and endless fascination. The simplest things a butterfly, a pebble, a shadow could hold your attention for hours. The world was a vast, magical place full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. 
This is the essence of what Jesus meant when he said, Unless you be converted and become as a child, you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. This statement is not merely a call to innocence, but an invitation to reclaim a state of mind where the world is perpetually new and full of wonder. It is about seeing the extraordinary in the ordinary, the magic in the mundane. As adults, we often take things for granted. We see a tree and dismiss it with a casual glance, thinking, oh, that's just a tree, but imagine seeing a tree for the first time, as a child does. The tree is no longer just a tree. It becomes a living miracle, a testament to the earth reaching up into the sky, sprouting countless branches and waving leaves like flags in the wind. The tree becomes a symbol of life, growth, and connection between the earth and the heavens. This shift in perception is not about ignoring reality, but about seeing deeper into it. It's about peeling away the layers of familiarity and rediscovering the intrinsic beauty and wonder of the world. This is the essence of high wisdom, to be surprised at everything, to see the world through the eyes of a child. Consider the sun, something we often overlook in our daily routines. To a child, the sun is a dazzling, mysterious entity. Remember the first time you stared at the sun, marveling at its brilliance, feeling its warmth, and watching it turn colors in your eyes? The sun wasn't just a ball of gas burning in space, it was a source of light, life, and wonder. This sense of marvel is what we need to reclaim. To look at the sun and see not just a celestial body, but a source of endless fascination. To feel its warmth and light and be reminded of the intricate dance of energy that sustains life on our planet. By rediscovering the sun, we reconnect with a sense of wonder that can transform our experience of the world. This childlike perspective is beautifully captured by G.K. Chesterton in his works. Chesterton had a unique ability to see the world through fresh eyes, to find the miraculous in the mundane. In his book, The Colored Lands, he makes a profound observation about the wonder of discovering that a rhinoceros exists. It's one thing to imagine mythical creatures like griffins and gorgons, but to realize that a real creature as bizarre as a rhinoceros exists in our world is truly extraordinary. Chesterton's wisdom lies in his ability to see everyday things as if they were completely improbable and magical. He described the world as an extremely improbable object, a great global rock floating in space around a vast fire, covered with green hair we call grass and filled with extraordinarily odd objects. This perspective allows us to see the world anew, to appreciate the improbable and the magical in the ordinary. This wisdom of seeing the world anew is not just a whimsical notion, but a profound shift in perspective. It allows us to approach life with a sense of wonder and curiosity, to find joy and fascination in the simplest things. This shift in perception can transform our daily experiences, making life richer and more fulfilling. Consider the way children approach learning. For them, every new discovery is a source of excitement and joy. They do not see learning as a chore, but as an adventure. This is the kind of attitude we need to reclaim, to approach life as a series of adventures each day filled with new possibilities and discoveries. When we begin to see the world through the eyes of a child, we start to notice the magic in everyday life. A child's vision is not clouded by preconceived notions or jaded perspectives. To them, the world is a place of endless possibilities and wonder. Think about the first time you saw rain. As an adult, rain might be an inconvenience, something that disrupts your plans. But to a child, rain is a miracle. The way water falls from the sky,
creating puddles to splash in, the sound it makes, the way it smells, it's all a magical experience. By rediscovering this sense of wonder, we can transform our perception of the world. We can begin to see the magic in the mundane, the extraordinary in the ordinary. This shift in perception allows us to appreciate life in a deeper, more meaningful way. One of the most significant aspects of a child's vision is the sense of playfulness. For children, life is a game, a series of playful interactions with the world. They do not take things too seriously, but approach life with a sense of joy and curiosity. This playfulness is something we often lose as adults. We become bogged down by responsibilities, worries, and the need to make sense of everything. But by reclaiming a sense of playfulness, we can approach life with a lighter heart. We can find joy in the simplest things and appreciate the beauty and wonder of the world. Chesterton's observation that the world created by the divine is a form of nonsense is a profound insight. It challenges our conventional understanding of reality and invites us to see the playful, nonsensical nature of existence. The idea that one of the most important features of the divine mind is humor is a radical departure from traditional religious perspectives. It suggests that the universe is not a serious, somber place, but a playful, joyous expression of the divine. By embracing the nonsense of reality, we can find joy and wonder in the world. We can approach life with a sense of humor and playfulness, finding delight in the unexpected and the improbable. The frequent misprint of cosmic as comic in Chesterton's writings reveals an unconscious wisdom that cosmic is indeed the comic. This insight challenges the seriousness with which we often approach life and invites us to see the playful, humorous side of existence. Dante's Divine Comedy is a testament to this idea. The term comedy suggests that the divine nature of existence is not solemn or serious, but light and playful. This perspective allows us to approach life with a sense of joy and wonder, appreciating the playful unfolding of reality. One of the most profound aspects of a child's vision is the joy of learning. For children, learning is not a chore, but an adventure. Every new discovery is a source of excitement and joy. As adults, we often lose this sense of joy in learning. We see education as a means to an end, a series of steps towards a future goal. But by reclaiming the joy of learning, we can transform our experience of life. We can approach each day with a sense of curiosity and wonder, finding joy in the process of discovery. Consider the first time you discovered something new as a child. Perhaps it was the first time you saw a butterfly, the first time you felt the rain, or the first time you heard a new sound. Each of these experiences was filled with wonder and excitement. By reclaiming this sense of joy and discovery, we can transform our experience of life. We can find joy in the simplest things, appreciating the beauty and wonder of the world. This shift in perception allows us to approach life with a sense of curiosity and excitement, finding joy in the process of discovery. One of the most significant aspects of a child's vision is the ability to be fully present in the moment. Children do not worry about the past or the future they live fully in the present. This ability to be present is a profound wisdom that we often lose as adults. By reclaiming this ability to be present, we can transform our experience of life. We can find joy and wonder in the present moment, appreciating the beauty and magic of the world around us. This shift in perception allows us to approach life with a sense of presence and mindfulness, finding joy in each moment. The ability to be fully present in the moment is a profound wisdom that allows us to appreciate life in a deeper, 
more meaningful way. When we are fully present, we can see the world through the eyes of a child, finding wonder and magic in the simplest things. This wisdom of presence allows us to approach life with a sense of mindfulness, appreciating the beauty and wonder of the world around us. By being fully present, we can find joy and wonder in each moment, transforming our experience of life. When we begin to see the world through the eyes of a child, we start to notice the magic in everyday life. A child's vision is not clouded by preconceived notions or jaded perspectives. To them, the world is a place of endless possibilities and wonder. As we journey deeper into the exploration of life, we encounter a fundamental concept that shapes our perception and understanding of the world, the illusion of separateness. This idea, deeply embedded in many philosophical and spiritual traditions, challenges our conventional view of reality and invites us to see the interconnectedness of all things. By unraveling this illusion, we can experience a profound shift in consciousness that transforms our relationship with ourselves, others, and the universe. From an early age, we are conditioned to see ourselves as separate individuals, distinct from the world around us. We learn to identify with our bodies, our thoughts, and our personalities, constructing a sense of self that is isolated and independent. This perception is reinforced by our language, culture, and social structures, all of which emphasize the separateness of individuals. However, this sense of separateness is an illusion. It is a mental construct that obscures the deeper reality of our interconnectedness. To understand this illusion, we must first explore the nature of the self and the ways in which our perceptions are shaped. The self, as we commonly understand it, is a construct of our minds. It is a collection of thoughts, memories, and experiences that we identify with and cling to. This constructed self is what we refer to as the ego. The ego creates a sense of identity and individuality, but it also reinforces the illusion of separateness. Our identification with the ego leads us to see the world in dualistic terms self and other, subject and object, inside and outside. This dualistic perception creates a sense of isolation and disconnection. As we view ourselves as separate entities navigating a world of separate objects and people. This dualistic perception is a fundamental aspect of the illusion of separateness. It leads us to believe that we are isolated beings, disconnected from the world around us. However, this perception is a distortion of reality. In truth, there is no separation between self and other, subject and object. Everything is interconnected and interdependent. The illusion of duality is like a dream that we must awaken from. When we see through this illusion, we realize that our true nature is not separate from the world but intrinsically connected to it. This realization is a profound shift in consciousness that transforms our experience of life. One of the most powerful ways to experience the interconnectedness of all things is through nature. Nature reveals the intricate web of life, where every element is connected and interdependent. The trees, the rivers, the mountains, and the animals all exist in a delicate balance, each playing a role in the larger ecosystem. Consider a forest. At first glance, it may seem like a collection of individual trees, each standing alone. But if we look closer, we see that the trees are interconnected through a vast network of roots, sharing nutrients and supporting each other. The forest is not a collection of separate entities, but a living, breathing organism. Similarly, we are not separate from nature, but a part of it. Our bodies are made of the same elements as the earth, and our existence is sustained by the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the food we eat. We are intricately connected to the web of life, 
and our well-being is intertwined with the well-being of the planet. To truly grasp the illusion of separateness, we must also expand our perspective to the cosmic level. The universe is a vast, interconnected system where every star, planet, and galaxy is part of a larger whole. Our existence is a result of the cosmic dance of matter and energy, and we are intimately connected to the cosmos. The atoms that make up our bodies were forged in the hearts of stars billions of years ago. We are literally made of stardust, and our existence is a continuation of the cosmic process. This realization helps us see that we are not isolated beings but expressions of the universe itself. Modern science, particularly quantum physics, also supports the idea of interconnectedness. At the quantum level, particles are not isolated entities but are interconnected in ways that defy our conventional understanding of space and time. This phenomenon, known as quantum entanglement, reveals that particles can be instantaneously connected regardless of the distance between them. Quantum physics challenges the notion of separateness and suggests that the universe is a unified field of interconnected energy. This perspective aligns with ancient spiritual teachings that emphasize the unity and interconnectedness of all things. The illusion of separateness is not just a philosophical or scientific concept, it has profound spiritual implications. Many spiritual traditions teach that our true nature is not the ego, but a deeper, universal consciousness that transcends individuality. This consciousness is often referred to as the self, the Atman, or the divine. In this view, the ego is like a wave on the surface of the ocean. It appears to be separate and distinct, but it is actually a manifestation of the deeper, underlying ocean. Similarly, our individual selves are expressions of the universal consciousness, and our sense of separateness is an illusion. The process of awakening to oneness involves seeing through the illusion of separateness and realizing our true nature. This awakening can happen spontaneously, through meditation, or through transformative experiences that reveal the interconnectedness of all things. When we awaken to oneness, we experience a profound shift in consciousness. We no longer see ourselves as isolated beings, but as expressions of the universal consciousness. This realization brings a sense of peace, love, and compassion as we recognize that we are connected to all beings and all of existence. One of the most effective ways to see through the illusion of separateness is to practice presence. Presence involves being fully aware of the present moment, without the distractions of thoughts and judgments. When we are fully present, we experience life directly, without the filters of the ego. In the state of presence, the boundaries between self and other begin to dissolve. We become aware of the interconnectedness of all things and experience a sense of unity and oneness. This practice helps us cultivate a deeper awareness of our true nature and the interconnectedness of existence. Awakening to oneness also transforms our relationships with others. When we see through the illusion of separateness, we recognize that we are connected to all beings. This realization fosters a sense of compassion and empathy as we see others as extensions of ourselves. Compassion arises naturally when we recognize our interconnectedness. We no longer see others as separate or different but as part of the same universal consciousness. This perspective transforms our interactions, leading to more harmonious and loving relationships. Suffering often arises from the illusion of separateness. When we see ourselves as isolated beings, we experience fear, loneliness, and a sense of disconnection. This suffering is a signal that we are out of alignment with our true nature. By seeing through the illusion of separateness, we can transcend suffering. We recognize that our true nature is not the ego, but the universal consciousness, 
and this realization brings a sense of peace and fulfillment. Suffering becomes an opportunity for awakening, guiding us back to our true nature. Life is a dance of interconnectedness, where every being and every event is part of a larger whole. When we see through the illusion of separateness, we begin to appreciate the beauty and harmony of this dance. We see that every moment is a manifestation of the universal consciousness, and we are part of this cosmic dance. This perspective transforms our experience of life. We no longer see ourselves as isolated individuals, but as participants in a larger, interconnected process. This realization brings a sense of joy and fulfillment as we recognize our place in the grand tapestry of existence. The path to unity involves seeing through the illusion of separateness and awakening to our true nature. This path requires mindfulness, presence, and a willingness to look beyond the surface of reality. It involves cultivating a deeper awareness of the interconnectedness of all things and recognizing the universal consciousness that underlies all existence. As we walk this path, we begin to experience life in a new way. We see the world through the eyes of unity, recognizing the interconnectedness of all beings and all things. This perspective brings a sense of peace, love and compassion, transforming our experience of life and our relationships with others. The realization of unity has a transformative power that can change our lives in profound ways. When we see through the illusion of separateness, we experience a shift in consciousness that brings a sense of peace, joy and fulfillment. This transformation is not just an individual experience but has the potential to create a ripple effect, transforming the collective consciousness of humanity.